Hello everyone, it's Lachey back again with another video. I wanted to do a video with these Dollar Tree treat boxes. I cannot stop using these. I've been using these for years. I hope y'all can see that. I've been using these boxes for years. Um, and I thought it would be a cheap alternative. Some people um, go and buy the expensive boxes and all of that. You can do some of this stuff yourself. Um, and then I, I figured, you know, we're always doing something for the girls. I wanted to do something for boys. I used a couple of things, um, like this hole punch. I love using stuff like this. Um, you don't have to use a silhouette or anything like that. I printed this out and cut it out. Um, I think I did this one on photo paper. Did I? Yeah, this is the photo paper. One of them I did on uh, regular cardstock. It didn't come out as nice, but um, the image could have been a little more clear. But um, some of this stuff you don't need a Cricut or a Silhouette for. You can do it yourself like these. Now, um, there are hole punches that cut out numbers and letters. I use that. I use this to cut out the circle. I, I use this punch a lot. Like this is my go-to. A little star punch. Um, just in case somebody wanted to try to make one themselves at home, which is the purpose of the video. This was even a Martha Stewart punch that I used um, to just cut out these. Thank you. See that? I just used a regular piece of paper and cut that out. Now, the name, I did use my... Um, silhouette if you wanted to personalize them but you don't have to it can be a themed party with just the cutouts um and you can cut out words too i cut out this one from you can you can fussy cut like i did this one this was a print and a cutout but this one i did with my silhouette i use my silhouette a lot lot but um i figured we could do one together um a treat box for boys because i always do stuff for girls and I said, let me put something together for boys. Um, so, all right, let's put this thing together and see how it's going to come out. I have not put anything together yet. I just cut out a couple of components for the sake of the video, but I haven't put anything together together yet. So we're going to do this together. Um, I kind of know where I want the placement to go, and I don't want... The box is flat, so please do it while the box is flat. Don't try to put it together while the box is um already put together because um, you're going to make some mistakes. So, got my handy dandy glue. I'll let that sit for a minute and then try to figure out placement on this. We're going to do two. One is Spider-Man, one is just like an army theme. But the army theme, I kind of thought that you could do, like even if it was someone coming home from the military, you could do just a thank you box and put some type of special um, treat in there or a gift card or something like that if it was someone in your family. Because um, this these boxes are small, so they can be used as gift card holders too. And y'all, please excuse my nails. I, I rarely get my nails done because I'm always in glue glitter ink and they just get dirty real quick so i can't spend a hundred dollars to get my nails done and then turn around and have to have them repaired or something they just look horrible now see i could have did a better job of cutting this out but we're gonna go with this um it looks okay so we want to find out where we want to want to put the placement of spider-man um i'm gonna use this this time only because this is <laughs> this is my go-to. It is. I love, love this glue runner. Ad tech glue runner. I use this is my go-to. Go-to. So we're gonna try to get Spider-Man on here properly. We want the hand to be about right there. And yes, that looks good. Now I'm not worried about the bottom of his foot because we're gonna put the word amazing down there. 
Let's put amazing on there. I'm going to use tape and glue for this. Tape and glue. And the Dollar Tree, I'm, I'm going to go there today because I want to make some more videos um, using their boxes because... I mean, you can cut out boxes. All of this, when you start cutting out, this will save you time. Um, even if you have a Cricut or Silhouette, and I have both, even if you have those things, this will absolutely save you some time. Having a box already made, that saves, oh, oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to do something for a prayer breakfast. Um coming up hopefully i'll be able to film um record uh me doing that for a prayer breakfast and i, I want to try to get the the ladies reactions too and also one of my girlfriends is having a paint a paint and um a paint and pray i think paint and pray paint and prayer so, of course, this is for a kid. I'm putting a number three on there. It could be any number. It, it doesn't have to be the number three. It could be any number. And we want to let that dry. Looks like I'm done with that one. I think that one's finished. And this one. This one is so interesting to me. So, like I said, I used a whole punch for both of these. Um, this looks like a dog tag to me. So, I cut it out a couple of more times. But the airplane is also a hole punch. This is so cute. I got I got every single one of these hole punches I got from um, Amazon. Um, and these are kind of old. I'll try to find the link to these and put them in the description. But they are, are old. These are not new hole punches. But I'm pretty sure you can find something comparable to that. And this is the only thing on this page that I cut out using the silhouette other than the name the name I hope you can see that so um okay this is the side of the box we want to put glue here and I want I want the Star to kind of stand out on the side a little bit and up, up and out. See, the placement is everything on these boxes. I want this to stand out though. I don't want it to be completely glued down. I want a piece of that to stay stand, standing out. Okay, now we want to put this there because we want him to be standing about right there i'm trying to check my placement we want the dog tags to be up a little further so we can put that there and then the name uh, that looks about right i don't like that hole showing That's ugly though. Okay, we'll leave the hole where it is. Because I could have put some string in the hole. But you all get the picture. Okay, so we got our stars down. I think let's do the dog tags. I used this hole punch because the dog tags look like, I mean, the that this hole punch. The dog tags kind of, uh, the hole punch looks like dog tags. Why couldn't I get that out? The hole punch looks like dog tags, military dog tags. Hmm. And I definitely want it hanging out on the side of the box. Now, I don't know how this is going to look because I'm freestyling it. I, I did not do this um, before the video. It might look like a complete disaster. But we're going to find out together. <laughs> we will find out together. Um, See, I want the tip of this star to be stuck to the box. So 
So then we'll place our army guy down or military guy. It doesn't have to be army, just military. And okay, maybe he will cover up the hole. See if we can get him up there. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right. Okay. Try to get some glue on him. See? This is coming together nicely. And this is Dollar Tree stuff. Get you Cut out a bunch of these. Get someone to help you with the assembly line. And just start punching, gluing, and stuffing. Stuffing the boxes. Punching, gluing, and stuffing boxes. Reminds me of the old days when my kids were a little bit smaller. Okay. We want to... Put something on that. And then let's do the name. This is going to be let's put let's yeah, let's use this. And then let's put the name. That's kind of cute. Okay. And this is this is this this treat box here. I'm going to call it a gift box. Um could be for anything. It doesn't have to be for a child. It can be for an adult. I just figured somebody, someone may want to see what it looks like decorated as a gift box for a child, but it doesn't have to be. That's way too much glue. Really? I'm going to have to get a better glue nozzle because I don't like when the glue comes out on the sides and all of that. I do not like that. We will let that dry. We will let that dry. And then we'll put this here. I should have did that in another color. I feel like... Okay, never mind. Maybe we can do this. To offset it yes that looks much better because I did not like spider-man should be dry by now okay okay that looks okay Okay. I went a little bit too far with that glue. Okay, so now what do we want to do? Let's put some planes on here. And some stars. Do I have paper for stars? Yes, let's do a couple of white stars and we will be done. We'll let this dry. Airplane number one. And airplane number two. Okay, and we want some stars because there's like a blank area. Um, maybe we can do an airplane too. Ooh, yeah, let's do an airplane. So you'll get to see how the punch works. This thing pops out too. <laughs> there was a cover on there. I don't have a clue what I did with it. That's cute. 
Oops, that was a lot of glue. A lot. Ugh, I need another glue bottle. Yes, and it's definitely missing some stars. Uh, let's do let's do a couple of stars. Okay. Okay. Let's let that dry. Let's get Spider Man out and box him up. Let's move this over. Move this over. And Spidey, what are you doing? All right. So, you know, we have to put this together. The lines are already scored. This is the problem I always have. Now you can use glue on this. Because of course the treats may be a little heavy depending on what you're gonna put in there. So let's do this. Let me put some glue on the bottom of this. And this may not even be the way you put this thing together but we'll try something different on the other box. Okay, that, that was some other glue. But let that sit and then let's do this one. I'm pretty sure there's another way to do this. I don't think this is it. Maybe this way? <laughs> it does not want to stay put. Can we do... No, that doesn't look right either. Okay. Maybe this way? No, let's go back to the way we had it because that is silly. And this time I wonder if I put just a little bit of glue this time. This one doesn't push out enough glue and the other one pushes out too much glue. So let's see. See how that works. And let's put this inside of there and lean it up against this. Let's see if Spider-Man is dry. Not even. It's <laughs> ooey gluey. But it's together. I want to put some tape under there or something. I wonder, can we just use regular tape? What if I use double-sided tape? Because I don't like that. And this tape I got from the Dollar Tree, too. Mm -mm. Oh, it's very tacky. See, if I had editing skills, I would edit this right on out. But I don't. We want the box to be cute.
And this is me just going for it. Okay, we like that. That is very cute for a kid's birthday party. Of course, you can add more if you wanted to. You could do something different than what I did. But this is a Dollar Tree box. And this one is a Dollar Tree box as well. So something quick and easy. You can put a bunch of these together for any occasion. I love these. Thank you so much. Please subscribe to my channel so that I can keep doing these videos. And I'm sorry that it's so long. I don't know how to edit yet. But I want to thank you and God bless you. Until next time.